Hi, and welcome to the presentation on the Level 3 BTEC in Children's Play, Learning and Development. Welcome, and this is our team. Our team consists of Miss Crosdale, Miss Hussain, Miss Alamu, and myself, Miss James. And we have a range of qualifications between us and we've all experienced many, many careers within the health and social care setting and child development setting. This can ranges from being a nanny, a childminder, primary school teaching and working with people within the mental health sector, such as schizophrenia. During this course, you will learn a range of skills and have a range of experiences. But before we begin, you must understand that you will need to have at least a level two qualification and English and maths at C grade or above. So the course is a two year course. And once you qualify, you will be able to go on to BA Honours degree in special education or even primary school education. So for those of you who are sitting there and thinking, oh, child development isn't for boys, which we know clearly is a gender stereotype, many of you were taught by males. And we have many males that take part in this course. So the qualification can lead to a range of different jobs and a few of them are just listed here. So the things that we cover during this course range from carrying out observations, assessments and planning activities that you're going to carry out within a child setting. It will involve you carrying out your own research, for example, research into the curriculum, the foundation years curriculum, which is known as the early years foundation stages. You'll have to be experience, experiencing working with parents and other professionals. The other, some of the other things that we cover on this course include planning activities with individuals or groups, understanding new terms and concepts that you cover during the units of the course throughout the two years, creating classroom displays or nursery displays, observing the children, observing staff and other professionals, and working alongside parents and professionals. The core structure. As you can see, there are 11 mandatory units. And there are three of them which are examination units. Here's a quick overview of those units. Unit one, children's development is an examination unit. Unit two, Development of Children's Communication, Literacy and Numeracy Skills is an examination unit. And Unit 4, Inquiries into Current Research in Early Years Practice is also an examination unit. Here's a quick look at Unit 1. During Unit 1, you will be learning about the progression and the development 
of a child from birth up to seven years. You will also be looking into different theories and models of development. And later on during that unit, you will also be looking at short and long term effects of things that have, have an impact on a child's development. Here is a quick look at some of the assessment outcomes. Unit 2 is also an examination unit. During this unit you will focus on a child's sequence of speech, their ability to communicate, literacy and numeracy development. You will also be expected to be able to write about and explain how you can demonstrate enthusiasm and excitement and interesting activities based on literacy and numeracy when working in a childcare setting. Again, here are the assessment outcomes for Unit 2. You will be expected to be able to analyse and evaluate information that you collect whilst on your work experience placement within a care setting. Here is an example of one of the coursework units. This is unit three, play and learning. It's an internal unit and will be marked by your teacher and then also moderated by the external examiner. Here's an example of three of the learning aims for that unit. You'll be expected to state the benefits of play and how it impacts on a child's learning. You will also look into the theoretical perspectives with regards to play. And finally, you will be able to demonstrate your skills and the purpose of pl pur purposeful play and learning whilst in a care setting. So now you have all of those skills and you get to have a go at real life experiencing, being a parent or a child minder for the day. So when you have a bit of time, if you want to have a look at these clips, because we don't have time now, you can have a go, see what you think when you are on this course by taking one of our babies home. So that's it from me. We will look forward to seeing you when you join us in our post 16, our sixth form. If you have any questions, there's an email address below. And um, I look forward to finding out whether you think we really do look like our pictures or whether we actually um, airbrush them. See you soon. Take care from the Health and Social Care Child Development Team. Goodbye.